An 18-year-old is dead after a violent fight involving more than two dozen students from three local high schools. News 5's Cassie Fambro has been following this case all day and has exclusive video of the incident as well as an exclusive interview with the victim's father who has a message now for kids about violence. Good evening, Ashley. We're in Theodore in a remote area standing on the edge of a dirt pit where a fight involving students from three local high schools turned deadly. 18-year-old Gage Tyler from Mary G. Montgomery High School is dead after what was scheduled as a revenge fight last night at this dirt pit in Theodore where students from Mary G. Montgomery, Alma Bryant, and Theodore High Schools gathered to watch a fight. We want to show you video that we exclusively obtained of the moments right before the stabbing in the Theodore dirt pit. This is that dirt pit where teens are known to hang out and party. In the video, you can see a couple dozen teenagers gathered around a fight. There's yelling, and then you can hear someone saying, I got stabbed at the very end. In. Police responded to another injury off Canal Street near Rangeline Road last night as well, and that was connected to this big fight. Police tell us there were multiple injuries last night, but only Tyler was killed. Earlier this evening, we sat down with Gage Tyler's father, coping with the loss of his young son. If I can say anything to him, I think the kids need to just stop the violence and don't avenge anything because no parent needs to bury the child. Many people have told us that they know the name of a suspect, and police are investigating that suspect. However, he is a minor, so his name has not been released. Police have told News 5 that this is an ongoing investigation. They have a lot more kids to interview to find out what the source of all this conflict was, and we'll continue to bring you updates as we learn more about this deadly fight. Reporting in Theodore, Cassie Fambro, News 5. And police say the students involved in the fight had multiple knives, baseball bats, and other objects used to harm each other. We'll continue to follow this disturbing story.